shoot this shit up that I was like, oh my god, we're going to die. This is not how I pictured dying. Like, I did picture dying with a plate full of food in front of my face and eating it before I go to heaven. But, like, I don't want to get shot the fuck up. Like, bitch, I'm only, like, 21, 22. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I've missed you guys so much. I feel like I haven't recorded in like a week, but it's literally been like three days or whatever. So anyways, for today's video, I am going to be doing a story time. A story time of how I almost died. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's funny. It's a story time basically of yeah, how I almost died when I was at the Chinese buffet with a, um, a middle school friend and my best friend oh god you guys are gonna like this story so before i go on into details and number five make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can get my latest stories and watch my latest videos okay because you're definitely not gonna want to miss out and i really feel like you guys are gonna like this story time so speaking of story time let's get into it so yeah so this goes way back to when i think either i just finished high school or Something of that sort, but I think it was definitely when I finished high school. So me, my homegirl, and my best friend from high school, Whitney, Whitney and Dichelle, that's their name, Whitney and Dichelle. I'll say their names because they don't mind. So Whitney and Dichelle. I don't know what happened in that particular day. I guess it was just the day we just decided we was going to meet up and link up. Whitney and Dichelle didn't know each other, so it was just like a first time of everybody meeting everybody. Whitney, like I said, is my best friend from high school, and Michelle is like my best friend from middle school, so it's just like, why don't we all just hang out and shit together? So anyways, we go out, we hang out, we do like normal teen pre-teenager stuff. I don't know, that's the thing, like, I don't know if we was teenagers at the time, or like, well, we probably still was, because we obviously graduated high school, so we had to be like, I want to say like 20... 21 so technically that's not teenage i don't know what the fuck i'm thinking so that obviously that's not teenager but anyways we hung out that day we were just very young we went to go see the shell's boyfriend because the shell loves the older man like i don't know why to this day she still does which is so weird and whitney likes them young and me i just like them to just be the same age as me or at least but yeah, anyway, that's besides this point. So yeah, so we hung out with the shell. You know, we went out to go see her little boyfriend and stuff like that. We hung out. We went to the park and yada yada yada. So we all decided that we was hungry. Now, if you live in the Bronx, it's this buffet called I think Maryland Buffet. But I feel like they're all called Maryland Buffet. I don't know. I I, I just think they are. But anyway, it's this specific one called Maryland Buffet. It's like right there by 161 i forgot what bus that is that goes past 161st street and then it goes like down that hill and then it's like where you, then then when you get off it's like what bus is that it's like the 41 bus goes this way and then it's a bus coming this way i don't know but if you've been there then you know what i'm talking about and that's the best way i can describe what the fuck i'm talking about anyways we went to that buffet because that buffet is lit and the food is really mad good and it's cheap as well I decided hey let's just take my friends there let's go eat chop it up see what we all into and what's going on and catch up so we went to the buffet we paid the first thing I should have noticed is that when we went to the buffet, they was like, like the pe the waitress and stuff was already being like weird and iffy. Like I feel like they're mad racist, but I could just be bugging or whatever. Anyway, so the the people were acting weird and they were just like, oh, you only have one hour to sit. I was like, bitch, what? Like one hour? Like what the fuck? Who eats in one hour? Like it's a all you can eat buffet. I want to eat all my fucking food here and I want to go back for more. Like the fuck. Anyway, so they was already getting on my nerves. So we just shook it off and was just like, you know what, whatever. Let's just hurry up and eat and get out of here. So while we're in the buffet laughing, talking, and eating, it's a group of guys that come in and they sit like two tables behind us, but we don't pay them no mind and we're just like, whatever. We all have boyfriends at the time and we're just like, whatever, whatever the case may be. So we're eating, we're laughing, we're catching up, and then it's like one of these boys, they like threw like a broccoli, like, sir, what? Like, they threw a broccoli at 
my friend because I guess she, I guess he or one of his friends was trying to talk to her. She just was like, no, no, thank you. Or like she ignores it or whatever. So, you know, boys, because men don't act like that. Boys don't take rejection well, and they don't know how to handle no, and especially when you're they're in front of their friends and whatever the case may be. So she ignored him, and I was just like, you know, I was just like, we all turned around like, really? So you're going to throw broccoli? Like, the fuck? So because we didn't want to, like, make it a bigger deal or whatever the case may be, we just brushed it off, and we told the waitress. So the waitress came over, and she told them, like, hey, you can't be doing that in the restaurant, this and that and the third. So we thought everything was cool. So we go back to talking, laughing, catching up, and this and that again. So the boy does something again. Either, like, he bumped into her and, like, poured or like pour water on her or like he just bumped into her on purpose and like something of her spilled and I was like you know what this is enough so being that the shell is just so very like short tempered she turned around and was like excuse me are you fucking kidding me right now this and that and there and me and Whitney is just like word so we're just sitting there we're just like okay you're right all right so what's gonna happen so they're just going back and forth back and forth back and forth and we're just like okay this is this is why we shouldn't have not come here we should have just went to Popeye's next door and go eat the food in the park or something like that so they're arguing and arguing and arguing and the Chinese lady's like you cannot argue here this and that blah 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 so the next thing you know I don't even know but it happens so fast right he goes in his pants like he's reach for like he's reaching for a gun, and bitch, I saw my whole life flash bef before my eyes. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay f calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, calm down. No. Me and Whitney took under the table so, so, so fast. And all the people in the restaurant was like jumping over the table. Yo, I cannot make this shit up. They were jumping over the table, pushing chairs out the way, hiding under the table. Bro, while the waitress and the owner of the place was behind the register, they flipped and did like a little cartwheel behind the register. Son, I am dead. So all I had commotion going on, he's like, what? Don't make me shoot this shit up. And I was like, oh. My God, we're going to die. This is not how I pictured dying. Like, I did picture dying with a plate full of food in front of my face and eating it before I go to heaven. But, like, I don't want to get shot the fuck up. Like, bitch, I'm only, like, 21, 22. So, like, move. like no, this is not the way I, I want to go out. Like, no, like, this can't be it for me. So, I don't know. So it's like all the commotions going on and everybody's like screaming and crying and stuff like that. So he's like, yeah, I'm gonna come back and shoot this shit up. So uh, apparently, apparently he didn't have the gun, but I swear to you, he went in his pants and he was like, mm, 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 mm. and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So Whitney is under the table bawling, son. I am in tears at this time. Like, not crying tears, but, like, laughing tears. I don't know why, but, like, whenever it's, like, a nervous situation or an awkward situation, I laugh or smile really hard, like a dumbass. I guess it's just a, a, a defense mechanism, but, bitch, Whitney had tears. I don't know what the shell was doing. I think, I think she was still under the table, or, like, when he said all of that, she was just, like, I'm going to get somebody to fuck you up. This and that and the third, yada, yada, yada. So, anyways, after all of that had happened, they had left. <laughs> and then the restaurant was still, like, separated. And everybody was still, like, in shock. And this and that and the third. So the waitress and the waiter come over and, like, oh, you guys have to leave right now. This and that and the third, yada, yada. But we were so scared to leave because he said he was going to come back and shoot this shit up. And I don't know where the fuck he live. I don't live over there in that neighborhood. Like, my neighborhood is, like, quiet and safe and shit don't really go on over here. So, we went into the bathroom, and Whitney is still bawling, so we call our friends, like, oh my god, like, we don't know what to do, we're stuck in the bathroom, these guys said they was gonna come back to shoot this shit up, and they was gonna shoot us, and we're so scared, and then our guy friends is just like, just get out of there as soon as you can, this and that, and the third, so like, we waited for like a good 15 minutes in the bathroom, and... 
I don't know, man. We just we just laid it in the bathroom for fifteen minutes and like we was just praying so 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 hard because we was so scared. Like even though I was laughing and giggling and looking like a dumbass like right now, I was scared shitless. But I couldn't let them see that I was scared shitless because if all three of us are scared shitless, then nothing is gonna get done, and we're just gonna. Yeah, just nothing is going to get done, and we're just going to be sitting there like, <laughs> like, and what's so crazy is that, it's, that it all happens so fast, and like, shit like that don't usually happen in real life, it's like happens on TV, like, I know stuff like that happens in real life, but like, to have it actually happen to me and my friends, that was just a little too weird, and I was just like a little shaken up. So, anyways, after the 15 minutes, and we go in the bathroom, we calm down, we come out, and we just like... Booked it to Daenerys bus, and we went to Dechelle's boyfriend's house, and we was talking about it, and we was cracking up, and we was dying as fuck, and she was like, oh my god, you were so scared, Whitley, and Whitley was like, still shaking, <laughs> Whitley was still shaking and still nervous, and I was just like, bro, like, we would have literally died at a Chinese buffet. Like, we was, I feel like that was my first time, um, brushing death, you can say. Like, because in so many situations and scenarios, shit like that can go from zero to a hundred real quick. Like, supposedly, he, if he really had a gun, like, I wouldn't be able to, be able to tell you this story. Like, he could have really shot my friend up, shot me up, God forbid, and shot my other friend up, and this shit would have went a whole lot different. So, like, I understand why some women be scared to turn men down when they're in, like, public places like that. Because some guys cannot handle rejection, obviously. They don't like the word no. And those are the guys that you have to be really mindful of because they don't give a fuck. And they don't like to be secondhand embarrassed in front of their friends. Which is understandable, but, like, no is a no. And you should just move the fuck on, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And the crazy thing is that while we was in the bathroom, I don't know why none of us didn't think to, like, call the police. Like, that would have probably helped the situation more. But I guess because we were so shaken up and it was, like, a 50-50 chance that he could have came back and shot shit up or this and that and the third. So, we just thought the best idea would, like, to be getting out of there and run to the nearest exit as possible and run for our lives. So, it was, like... It was just, I don't know, man, like, I can't believe I have forgot about that, but then I, um, but then I remembered it last night, like, and to tell you the truth, nobody knows that story but us three, like, I guess because we was embarrassed or we literally forgot, but sometimes when I, like, see Dechelle or whatever, she'll talk about that day and we'll just sit there and die, like, we literally did some dumb shit as kids, man, like, or teen, a young adults, if you want to say, but, like, that would have to be the most scariest thing I've ever done with her. And it's like, every time I hang out with Dechelle, something is definitely going down. Because she's a firecracker, and I'm a firecracker. But, like, she's, like, ready to explode at any moment. And I'm just more like, okay, like, you gotta ruffle me up a few times before I actually go off. So that was just, like... Like, yeah, man, like, and Whitney, uh oh, Whitney is such a little scary little mouse. I always remember having to stick up for her in high school and outside of high school. Like, she doesn't do much. Like, Whitney, it takes a lot to, it takes a lot to shake her up. But, like, she was just so terrified. And I think that's probably why she left and went back to her country in Antigua. So, yeah. But... Every time I hang out with those two, it's a story to tell. And I'm so glad I was able to live through that and share that with you guys. But yeah, so, oh yeah, this day, my mom or nobody knows. I guess everybody's going to find out now. But I literally forgot about this story. And I was just like, oh shit, why did I never not tell nobody about this story? This shit is epic and fucking like brush death. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, so, boom. So yeah, so that's the story time that I wanted to tell you guys to get off my chest. I know you guys probably don't have no similar experience, so I'm not even about to ask you guys to drop your similar experience like that below. But I will say that if you had like a near death like ex um experience like I did, I don't even know if that's what you call it, but I think that is, or a brush with death, or your life flash before your eyes, please leave it below in the comment section because bitch. I 
want to know so I can die of laughter. Even though this is not like a funny situation, but it is a funny situation because I live to tell another day and I live to tell you guys. So like, to this day, I don't even go back to that buffet. I haven't been back there in a long time. So I don't even eat at Chinese buffets no more. So that's definitely out of the picture. So yeah, I don't know guys, but I... I brushed death maybe like a few times oh my god yes a few times like maybe three the first time was this obviously the second time was when i was like 12 i won't give you guys like the whole tea but i'll probably like make them in the next story time the second time is probably when i was cooking something and I, this is how I know I don't know how to cook and this is why I'm never cooking again and I'm scarred for life. I don't know, something happened either like I was taking out my braids or something and um, I was making french fries or something and my dumb ass, I think like the pan caught on fire or like it was like something of that sort. Anyways, it was oil and I put it with the water. Oh my god, y'all know how that happened. The kitchen was all whoosh and that's probably why my eyebrows didn't grow or grow in but yeah so that was that and the third time is when um the drink concert yeah i think that'll be my next story time like that one i really could have died but like i don't know but i think this one tops it all because yeah man like a gun like a gun like i could have died if he had a gun like that's crazy like i still can't believe i'm here to tell you guys that story but yeah so don't forget to hit that notification subscribe and the bell to catch up with my latest story times and much much more thank you guys for tuning in and please tell me your near-death experience below thanks guys bye